Hello everyone. Thanks again for tuning in. Got the dual motor, dual battery. Well, really, it's like three batteries. It's a motorcycle battery to run the 12 volt systems. The uh, brake light, which is just a marker light for now. I'll get a better tail light. And the uh, headlight and horn. There's a horn built in there. Then I do have another spotlight, but I don't have that wired up right now, and it's it's really nice. So it's nice to have both of those pointed. I've got to adjust the mirrors. I'm going to try to get them out further, or just use the uh, the side mirror things, or maybe if I flip them upside down that way. I don't know. Few different thoughts on that still. I got the back battery here moved back, so my butt doesn't hit it. So that's nice. I would like to mount it under here, but it gets it would be pretty close to the tire. Um, but man, I'd really like the lower center of gravity. It would uh, it, it would be cool to try to see if that would or get a different slimmer battery possibly because I'm not like I need to get a 72 volt on that front hub because once that ad told me it goes 43 miles an hour and only. 30 something with a 52 volt so it goes 43 plus or around 44 miles an hour with the 72 volt battery so i that's a must now for me even though i mean that's a decent amount of power need new tires those are real cheap real cheap tires um so i'm going to get pretty expensive tires i'm going to go all out with those i've seen some really nice ones that people put i'll probably get the same ones for my juice scorpion x I've seen a lot of people putting the uh, those 20 by four tires, but I need uh, the 26 by fours with these. Um, everything's working great. The mid motor is really powering up as the uh, it's the drive system, so it's got the pedal assist. So the Bafang motor is doing great. It's only got 327 miles on that motor total, period, and. 48 volt battery is running off of right now that came with this bike and uh, yeah this bike was originally um, 500 watt rear hub but I, I wanted to try an all-wheel drive build this worked out pretty well I'm not completely done obviously so I'm gonna upgrade the shocks gun to shocks tires and then brakes so I did upgrade the brakes to a 180 from a 160 or something like that, and then a 203 on the back, but it's still not quite enough stopping power when when both of these are going, I'm going. It's, it's a decent amount of weight I'm carrying too, so. But not a whole lot. I will get a total weight for you guys, and um, stay tuned. I'll let you know. And um, I'm going to hit this trail a little bit more this year. It goes... Uh, West Liberty, then Urbana, then Springfield, then the Dayton area here in Ohio. So look forward to uh, getting some videos. I'll do some like time lapse and like shoot town to town. So subscribe if you're not already and stay tuned. Have a great day. Happy Easter.